I'm always sticking my nose in the dirt, you know, I'm always crawling around smelling the dirt because there's so much richness there. It's so pleasurable. I'm a hiker and a backpacker, I just, I love the outdoors. What we're doing at Juniper Ridge is taking these places that I love, the Sierra Nevada, the coastal areas like Big Sur and the coastal mountains of Oregon, and putting them into a bottle. This is the Mojave Desert here in a bottle. When I say the Mojave Desert in a bottle, I'm not talking about it being inspired by the Mojave. I mean that the plants we picked, everything in this bottle came from the Mojave Desert. There's real tree pitch in there from pine trees in the desert. And for me, that's just the best thing in the world because it's just singing that place. And it's just like, oh God, I'm there. I'm in that place, I'm there. So when I started Juniper Ridge, I started making soaps. So I was like, well, wouldn't it be great if there was a soap that smelled like Big Sur? I didn't know at the time that no one was making essential oils or fragrances out of our local plants. So I discovered, I was like, okay, so I'll make it myself. I just bought kitchen scale stuff and made my own stills and made my own extraction units. And I was spending all my time out there in the outdoors and harvesting plants. I went out to the Berkeley Farmer's Market. I had a Sierra Nevada Glacier soap bar and a Big Sur soap bar. I had no idea if anyone was gonna get what I was talking about. I had no idea if anyone would think that was beautiful but me. Everything I made, I sold out of. I couldn't even go back the next weekend. And I was like, okay, this is a business. You know, I can make this into a business. Techniques we work with are things like steam distillation, on florage type processes, pressing out the goo, so like just taking a hydraulic press and squeezing out the juice, popping pitch blisters on trees and just draining that pitch into a bottle and using that pitch or doing further distillation work on it. This bottle here of Timberline Trail beard oil, this is a moisturizing face oil, we made this on the trail. We harvested as we went on the trail, putting stuff in our backpack. We'd sit around the campfires at nighttime, distilling and drinking bourbon and beer and just having fun. This is Field Lab. We spent 10 days up on Mount Hood harvesting this. That's why this is green. It's got the real stuff in there. It's a great luxury, like all of a sudden, bam, you're in the Mojave Desert or you're on Mount Hood in Oregon or the coast of Big Sur. Up till 100 years ago, fragrance was about wearing nature on your body, bringing nature into your life. So I'm always asking people to get out there and use their noses, not because it's something you should be doing, but because it's gonna make you happy. It's the reason people surf, it's the reason people hike, it's the reason people climb mountains, it's the reason people become chefs. I'm a wanderer, and it's the way I've done things my whole life. I follow my nose. And I've gotten rewarded for that just immensely in life, in every aspect of my life. I get rewarded for being like, fuck tradition, who cares what you're supposed to do? Just try it. Try something new. Try something different.